thirsty. Watch out! It's Fink! It's time magic! Back to zero progress my name is grant and this is reviewed footage and today i got a little i got a little unique film here for you um on the level of like the room and shit one of those uh 1988's drifting classroom and that name might mean something to you because it is an adaptation of the cult classic manga of the same name and while it may be an adaptation it's important to keep in mind that it is not accurate to the source material from what i understand um, they take a lot of, uh, creative liberties, to say the least. We're floating! We're floating! I don't believe it! We're floating! Look! Some fresh water! Yes. But the basic premise is, imagine you're in school one day, and then randomly, a time slip happens, and now your school is transported to an inhospitable desert environment, and you have to survive by any means necessary. The lives of your friends be damned. It's, it's, it's a survival story. It's a very extreme survival story. Congratulations. Yeah, so like based off that, you can tell the movie has a lot of um, quality moments. Yo, right wing, pass it to the right wing. Hey, dribble it over here, over here. Pass it, centering. I'm gonna shoot, bicycle. Here it goes. I first saw and learned about this movie way back in college years ago. A friend of mine had like a 420p rip that he got off of Pirate Bay, just off of a random seed. And then when he went to try to find it again, like for me, it did not exist. I haven't been able to get a copy of this movie for years. And I recently found one online. And the second I found it, I was like, I gotta show this to people because, especially in rewatching it, my God, does it hold up to like everything wacky and crazy I remember about it. It it is up there with some of the great warp bad bad worst films of all time. I swear to God. Thank you for everything. Yeah. So if you do want to watch this, know you have a little bit of like an internet search ahead of you. You can find a version of it. Um, there is a really low quality version on YouTube that I did not watch. I waited until I could find an HD rip, which I did. I don't want to share it, but if you search, you can find it. When it comes to like the behind the scenes, personally, I don't really know anything. I, I didn't really find that much information online. Granted. I didn't do that much research outside of just finding a copy of the film. So the, how this got made is a complete mystery to me, like, like from start to finish. I do know that it was filmed on location in Japan. I don't know if it was filmed at an actual school. I think it was. And the premise, it's a foreign exchange. It's a for, um, it's like a boarding school. So all the kids speak English. The movie's mostly in English. There's some Japanese. It all has Japanese subtitles, obviously. Because I don't know if it was ever released commercially outside of Japan, but it's all in English, so 
that should be like a flag there for you. Like this is this is something. Mark. Hey Mark, wipe them out of soccer match next Sunday. Right. You're gonna come in chairs on again? Of course I'll be there. If I win again, don't I deserve a kiss? All right, this is gonna be my big game. I mean, I'm building it up, and it deserves it. It's it's a fucking good bad masterpiece. So, I guess without further ado, I should probably I should probably watch it. Yeah. Oh, one more thing. Um, fun fact, there was an American version of this movie made in the early 90s for TV starring Drake Bell. And for the life of me, I cannot find a copy. Here's a bit of the trailer. Tri-Vision Entertainment proudly presents Billy Drago. I guess little Bobby's turn to die. Look, you don't decide when we eat or anything else. Ron Melendez, Bubba Smith. It is too dangerous to let anyone outside. You don't know a human being is fabulous. We'll eat cockroaches. Henry <laughs> Silva. <laughs> He's over at the high school watching John Maybe I should get over there. Caroline Williams. Andrew Barrett. I'm busy right now. Come back later. And introducing Drake Bell as Kenny Scott in Drifting School, based on a best-selling comic book from Japan. So if anyone out there can get me that movie so I can compare these two, for the love of God, send it to me. I need it now. Something to keep in mind, this is not the type of movie you want to watch alone. This is definitely something you need a group of captain, I mean roommates, to really enjoy it. So I guess I should make that happen. <laughs> I like how the director was the only one to have like special symbols in his name. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, what do you want? Maybe Ty. <laughs> 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 See you later, my He's teacher. He's a teacher. Like, just talk about something before they actually start the discussion, and then they go into the discussion through like introduction, like Tony, Spencer. What did you guys think of Drifting Classroom? I thought. Um, this is the worst. <laughs> You're like, <laughs> no, it's good to get this out. That yeah. was awkward. People need to watch this film. It's pretty insane. It's as good as any famous B film is. Yeah, like any like good bad movie you could think of, it's up there. Troll for two. sure, and no one. I'd say it's better than Troll Two. I like mean, mom, you remember what happens at the beginning? Though, yeah, right? he pranks her. He's naked. He's naked. Yeah, attacking FBI. her. And she's, she's like, get off of me. And he's like, Mom. And he's oh, like, yeah. That's so yeah. sorry. For so like a, a shit, long dude. time. Yeah. He's like on. all over her, completely naked. And she's like, this is a. This is... And then he like runs away. And then they're yeah. sitting at breakfast and they're eating. And he comes back in and he's acting like a dick. And his mom's like, stop acting like such a dick. And then he grabs her tea or something off the table, and she slaps it out of his hand. And, and she yeah, says and she something, says something like, like, don't bother coming home. Yeah, yeah she's like, like don't ever come out. home. Yeah, she, she kicks, kicks him, him out. out. Yeah. Yes. Um, and then he goes to school. And then she never saw him again. Is he the same kid that later on comes in late to the classroom and doesn't seem to know what's going on with all the singing and such? <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah, yes. He's just as confused as we are. <laughs> I love you. I love you. Oh my dear sweet mommy. What? Sure. Troll 2. Oh, this, is, uh, <laughs> this is a quality of the Yes, sure. <laughs> yeah. So, and then they sing. And then they sing because they're in celebration. They're so happy <laughs> that their teacher's getting engaged. They just can't help but sing some... It wasn't a show tune. No, no, it was like a. It was like a, it was like a. Here comes the bride. Here yeah, comes the yeah, bride. yeah. It was like a. Yeah, remix. But like a bastardization of that. Yeah. And then that the kid whips out that violin he had in his desk. Yeah, the kid just has a violin. Kid has a violin. Um, they pick and they up, lift that little girl they off. Pick up the little, little girl. girl the two uh, twins. Peggy, right? I have no idea. Her name's like Peggy or something. Lauren? Like. Or something. No, it began with a P. Oh. And then the world ends.
<laughs> it shows the rela- reactions for like a little too long. Yeah, like, it's just, like, just, they're just, just like, so so they're all just, it's like the director was just like, alright, go. And then just held it for way too long. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> blah blah blah. Sand starts pouring into the school. Yeah, and then That's yeah, the next yeah. Part, really. sand just overtakes the school. And there's a lot of that. Most people lot. died, I assume. A lot. That. I would assume like half the school dies in that. Although mm-hmm. you know, we don't really know because we the, see bodies. Yeah, we see bodies, but it's not like the movie has any interest in really defining how many people are there at any given time. That's true. It's somewhere between yeah. like sixteen and sixty. Yeah, it's however many people. I mean, based off the plaque at the end, it was like three hundred. Yeah, I know. Like, so who the fuck knows? But on screen, we we never see yeah. more than like thirty something, probably. For this movie. <clears throat> Come to find out that through a uh, a time slip, which everyone has been which highly educated, yeah. everybody knows about a time slip. It's like the first thing your brain goes to when I think a massive every building single, disappears after the event. Every single person that is questioned on the event says mm, probably a time Pro- slip. yeah yeah like <laughs> multiple times people are like oh i think it was a time right. slip. They, like they cut back to even the, the children world and they're like and they're classic like, time yeah, periodically we keep getting connected to the regular world where the movie starts through, parents. The, through the through the mom lots of parents through, specifically through show's mom yeah so yeah we got the so now we're in the survival element of the movie which i guess was the main crux of the manga which is like these kids surviving in a crazy desert environment that you don't know what the fuck is up. Yeah. and Giant insects attack every night. Yeah, that happens later. But I guess we're introduced to our main crew, which is Sho, Sho's bitch, who I don't remember. I honestly, I don't remember her name. Um, the teacher, Miss Midori. Miss Midori, yeah. How can you forget her name? Oh, um, yeah. My the teacher, the, 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 the man. Yeah, the, yeah. Pr- the main principal. <laughs> you, the adorable kid on the tricycle. Yeah, you. there's you. There's like a little kid on a trike. White twins, Asian twins. Who are you? Who are you? Mark. Mark. Obviously Mark. the most important character. Mark. Fatty. Don't forget oh, about Fatty. Oh, yeah, that's right. Fatty was With his character. glorious hair. There's Fatty. There's um character whose only trait is his favorite bank. His only trait mm. is his favorite bank. That- when it's a survival movie, fighting for resources, tensions are high, Lord of the Flies shit, not handled the, the best. The kids are trying to pick a leader. Yeah, they? the first yeah. they try to give it, the first they vote Mark, but Mark doesn't want it. Mark doesn't want it. And then they give it to Show, and then monsters attack, and everyone blames Show for that. And then they give it back <laughs> to Mark, and Mark's like, yeah, fuck you, Show. And they fight. The only rule is you can only use your body. No other objects allowed. Stop it! Both of you! You are friends! Start! Stop it! And she doesn't intrude, she just stands in the background. She's like, I must let it happen. I feel like this, they just decided, like, alright, this is Lord of the Flies now. Right? Well, that one dude went Lord of the Flies really quickly, and then he got tossed in his face. <laughs> Did he die? Hey. Oh my god. We skipped a lot. Well, they we are so they confused. Have, they, they, have, they, they, really they, they have an expedition, remember? They, uh, uh, yeah, that's later on, though, isn't it? That, that's the third act where they have the expedition, but that's after Show gets voted as the new leader. And then the monsters right. attack the like monsters, three times. During I don't. The do the monsters attack once or twice? Dude, you have to remember some of these parts, like the like, monsters just go attack on for forever. like ten minutes. I feel like sometimes. forever. Like like the sequence that we, that was like a second of us being like, yeah, the school gets filled with dirt. That's like nine minutes. <laughs> but it's we didn't that skip anything. We didn't skip anything. But it's we just essentially nine told you of school filling with dirt and yeah. people running and being scared. Yeah, there's a lot. Of okay, that. so. Midori oh, saving them, I guess? Trike kid f- 
finds oh, the oh alien. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Alien, alien he baby. Finds the alien. Yes. He finds the alien baby monster. Floating alien baby monster, mm-hmm. which in my opinion was actually a pretty good monster. It was pretty neat. Yeah, and it, they did a good job of either removing or hiding the wiring. Yeah, I couldn't right? Really I couldn't see find it. it. Mm-hmm. And then the eyes were like animatronic or something. And then... But it was still a good alien. I really liked The it. kid happens to find the alien while everyone's freaking out about not having water. Oh, so yeah. fortunately, thank God, the alien has a solution. Yeah. It is. It is. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, it literally is. I'm not oh my God! <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> this is really too much. Biggest, stop it. It's upsetting you, Ichi. <laughs> That stuff should look good. Any living thing can be used as food. Snakes, frogs, Mike anything. The turn. Get out of the way, show. Let's dissect it. Let's examine it. Let Mark take care of it. No. Every living thing has the right to live. So no human being has the right to kill. That's true. However, all living things kill other living things in order to survive. Yeah, so yeah, right, yeah. you have to be more realistic. So water is no longer an issue? Because of the golden shower I would argue. Solution. I would argue it, it is, but it isn't. They don't even bother, b- like, boiling it. No, they even no you can have no real survival can... instincts whatsoever. Oh, and the crazy true. guy. Remember yeah, the crazy that, guy? Yeah. yeah, that was the That's, crazy guy who was like, I don't know what his motivation was. He just wanted to... He was to... just insane. I think he was just insane. He and insane. He, like, yeah. he wanted to... Uh... He was an adult, wasn't he? There's also another song. They do another song. Yeah, uh, they do. There's two songs in the movie. Why do they sing Yankee Doodle Dandy? They're just hanging out and having fun. Right, because everything's gone bad. And they're just like, let's oh no! It's because they successfully defended themselves from the first monster attack. Right? Oh, oh, because Midori played the piano. Yeah, she plays. Yeah, yeah okay. That's one. Wait, they're singing again. Come tell me where my what? They've been practicing yeah. for weeks. It's those two twins. They always fucking. They make everything chaos. That's why we're here in the first place. Yeah. I like how they're just cool with it. They're like, it's chill. The show's in charge, show's cool with it. Oh, it is miniatures. Well, this kid's a giant. Yeah, wait. It is a miniature. No force perspective. It's like, turns out that that's a miniature. There's a green screen behind the is school. Is actually giant? I don't know, dude. Show Monsters attack. No, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then Show leaves. gets exiled. Yes. And, and some people decide to go with Show. And they wander the desert because they yes, saw right. a tornado. Yes. Which attracts their attention. Which is a time tornado. Tornado. Yes, that's right. And that's, <laughs> that's where things start getting that's, really weird. That's what things get. And then really crazy. They so, enter it and they see modern Japan. Yeah, and they realize it's like a t- there's a there's like a time slip randomly out in the desert. And there's water in there, and they say, "Don't drink the time water because it's magic. It's time magic. Look out." Yes. They know that yeah. immediately. Well, the, the the smart kid does, but the one idiot kid is like water. And, and then so he goes like, no, to the water. Time magic. That's what that clip was. And then mm-hmm. they he yes. And that then happens. and then yeah, they they all kind of just float through the unknowable planes of time. Right. Oh, oh Jesus God. Christ! Oh my God! Time magic's serious shit. So anyway, it could jump that's right. So they end up in a time tornado. To them, it's been a day. For everyone months. back at the school, it's been I three think it's months. Three days, yeah. three months. So, so and that's when we get out, the reveal that <laughs> they were they were attacked the second time. Dies. Right? I think that I don't know when that happens, but the point is, Midori the goes to play time. the fucking piano, <laughs> and then she dies. But then the monster learns to play the piano and might be her, and then the monsters <laughs> leave. School seems like something changed.
Holy shit. Holy oh, fuck. Wow. I guess a lot of those kids did they, die in that They just time. died. Yeah. Oh, look at those scratches on the outside from the monsters. That's a cool fact. How long were you gone? Oh, time magic, dude. One month? Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I was gone for a whole month. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know Everybody's dead. Dead? Most of our group, and Mrs. Whitney. The only thing that saved me was Miss Midori's piano playing. And what about Miss Midori? Miss Midori just kept on playing the piano for us. She just stayed there until we couldn't hear her anymore. I feel like that's, that seems like some manga shit. Yeah, when <laughs> she goes out playing the piano. Yeah. Yes. Wait. There. She's there. Here. Yeah. Is it gonna be the fucking monster? Playing? <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, the monster. I swear it is. Midori sensei. I swear the monster's playing the piano. Midori sensei got monster and he's in shit. ちょっと待ってください。ちょっと待ってください。ちょっと待ってください。ちょっと待ってください。ちょっと待ってください。ちょっと待ってください。ちょっと待ってください。ちょっと待ってください。ちょっと待ってください。ちょっと待ってください。
Really? Did they say that? I don't no, know. But, but, but we like saw him away. sleeping they're next sleeping. to the monster, and they're like, oh, it's been a month. And Maybe the next the thing wa- we saw. The monster's been washing him and giving him water the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> That's the monster's fetish. No. It's, <laughs> oh, God. No, I was just saying, like, he's been fine. Oh, God. He's just been chilling. The monster's like, wait. <laughs> we were cool. We were bros. Bye bye. Yeah. It's a fun monster, though. Fun creature thing. Yeah. I mean, it's really well done, actually. I like that little guy. Yeah. It's very simplistic, but... <laughs> he goes through the time slip, just falls into the hole. <laughs> yeah, I should run in there. I agree, so... <laughs> Let's go! It's like one small child. I mean... Look, if that small kid fit, there's other small children there. Time tunnel? You know, they, all, they see him just like melt as he goes <laughs> up. Like, oh my he, god. He immediately drinks the water. <laughs> Don't drink the time water. So they send you Fatty. on the tricycle. Yeah. Because you little... plus the tricycle is less than Fatty. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and of course, you is nice and clean because he's had his little mm-hmm. golden showers. Golden shower pet monster. They have a little moment where he has to say goodbye. That's right. Mm-hmm. To that. I think monster. I don't remember that. But no, he does. Sure he says goodbye to the monster, yeah. and then they fly off in the sunset. And did you say that it's as if you appear? No, remember and no time passed. Well, yeah, because you like fucking gets to trike his way through the uh, cosmic time vortex. The yeah. greatest gift, the ever greatest created. gift yes. of all time. Um, he sees all and the faces. Then of his I'm pretty sure family. he ends up like fading in, like near the school, right after it disappeared near his parents. Mm-hmm. So it's like he never Maybe. disappeared in the first I, place. I, I don't but he has shows funny. lock it. And That's it gets back to show's mom. Um, we n- I don't remember if we mentioned it here or before, but we never talked about the mom and the baseball bat. Did, well, didn't we before? Or? Well, I don't know. We spoke but about I'm the guy that who... Uh, the point is that show's mom crazy. sends him a baseball shows, bat. Yeah. Shows mom... It doesn't. It doesn't matter. Or make any uh, sense. So yeah. Like, anyway, you, you get, makes it. You survives. You, you survives. You makes it. Um, shows mom gets confirmation that her son's alive in the future. Which um, makes her happy. Big so twist. Of the movie is that this isn't like an alien planet or some shit. This is like Earth. Yeah. Sometimes hundreds of thousands future. of years in the future. Who knows? Unknown amount. Either way, these children are gonna restart society, that's and that's the, and that's where the movie leaves you. The movie leaves you with them having. Figured refigured out clothing manufacturing because they made some dope ass robes right. for themselves. They did, yeah. I forgot and they got that. they got their like nice little um, I think they're Logan's numbers, Run right? Society yeah. going on. They're like fashionable. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're like futuristic. They're clothing. gonna make show and his his girl are gonna make hundreds of incest babies mm-hmm. with all the other yeah. The so one yeah, other female all the characters. Humans. So all the characters in that final shot like all get their one final character trait line. Like That's right. Fatty gets to talk about how he wants a burger. Um, bubblegum bubble kid, gets bubble gum kid bubble wants gum. his bubblegum. Yeah. Uh, one kid there, still's right? got his bank. He loves his bank. Oh, that's right. The bank. Um, and of course, show and his love interest are going to have some babies. Are they're going to repopulate show this girl the, the only girl? I think. <laughs> place where there's nothing okay professor of the future tomorrow's scientist the first request i have is for a burger yeah how about some gum look at this this is my lifesaver my puppy i'll take the care of it for us i'm sure there are still plenty of hard days to come but let's do our best to stay together and greet them with a smile Baby shoe. Someday soon. Did you hear that? No. I want to have a baby with you. <laughs> yes. Wait, what? 
And I, that's what I distinctly Wait, remember. Where do they get those clothes? Why are they clean? <laughs> they made them, I guess. It's their jerseys. I don't know. Be confused by it. Again. Yeah, there's and definitely... Like, you'd still be as, like... There's things I missed, I'm sure. Fucking what? Um, I would watch it again. So, yeah. I'd give it a rewatch. I guess recreating his favorite moment? Um, I'd have to say you biking through the time stream. That was... Good one. It's and, uh, probably the best moment. Yeah. Tripping through time, baby. Uh, use golden shower. Use really the <laughs> the best part of this movie. And also Mark's bicycle kick. Yeah. Those mm. are mine, too. Mark's bicycle kick. Yeah, that was a good one. That I'd have intense. to. I'd have to go with um, someday soon. I'm gonna have your baby show. Because mm. <laughs> that line to credits is like punchline, perfect. And then, uh, I mean, just the whole confusion on if Miss Midori became a monster or not. Yeah, that was a that, that was, was a highlight, very just but... confusing. I think we were just befuddled. Yeah, in the footage of us watching that. Yeah, the artist it. left that open. For yeah, that was very much like that's up to you. what is happening. Yeah, yeah. Is you decide. All right. Where are they? This is not floor <laughs> one anymore. This is, these are the caves. <laughs> Mark, you and the Mark. others go check out the staff. Mark, Mark. Go on, you guys, Mark. go with him. <laughs> His Mark. arms got lit on fire. Did you see that? <laughs> no, it wasn't. You're lying. No, he, the, the fucking torch play brushed the, his head. Play the footage back and Go with him. Come on, go with him. Come on. Go with him. Come on. That could be better. <sighs> I'm in the middle of uh, editing this shit right now, and um, something I do want to impress upon is uh, we actually did not cover nearly as much in this movie as there is. What I'm trying to say is there's a lot we did not touch on when it comes to Drifting Classroom. Because um, I'm at the end of the edit right now and uh, like we didn't mention the woman who like vomits up sand or the old lady with the rocking chair on the roof. There's um... There's a lot we did not go into, so I would highly recommend finding a group of people, hanging out, and uh, checking this movie out because you're really going to enjoy yourselves. When it comes to final thoughts, I just got to say, this movie holds up as one of like the greatest, best, worst films I've ever seen, and I've seen a lot. Like, I watched Miami Connection the second I heard about it. Uh, I went to a screening of The Room in Raleigh, like at a private theater. I've, I've watched Troll 2 a bunch of times. I, I've, I'm really into this type of media, and I, I can say that this shit is, is upper echelon. That mainline shit. Every fucking scene has something. Every, n not a frame is wasted. There's always something to captivate your attention. You're never bored. You're always questioning what's happening. It's always entertaining constantly. And I guess that's the, the highest praise I can give a movie like this. So, uh, yeah, I felt like this kind of needed this little bit at the end. So, um, barring any unforeseen updates, I don't see this video continuing. So, uh, update. So as I said, barring any updates, uh, that would have been the end of it, but my roommate made me aware that there is a montage video of like best of clips of this movie on YouTube, and if you go to that video, sort by top, and if you sort by top comments, and you scroll, <laughs> I feel dirty watching this, okay, um, and you scroll down, you'll find this channel. Art Johnson and as you can see he uh, he was the the african-american kid in the movie um, so yeah uh, he's here I don't know exactly what to do with this information but I figured I'd make people aware of it so let's check out his page four days whoa four days ago what is this kind oh, of shit it's active isn't it Active-ish page. 
Larry here. Epis yeah, did I say I episode 67? I just said Larry here. Literally. Are you saying it's too ambiguous? I need to change it? No, it's fine. <laughs> My name is Lisa. I need to get with you. No, huh? I'm not calling to get together with you as a date. Then why else would you be calling me? Um, because I heard you're the lead detective on the Jelly Bean Killer case. But if this is not some random boot call, they're not gonna help you. I'm good on, on that. Um, so, uh, that exists, and I've made you aware. So, um, that's the rest of the video. Uh, go ahead, you know, like, subscribe, all that sellout bullshit. Um, share the video, you know, get more people aware of this film. I really think it deserves, like, actual attention. So, um, we can bring it back.